presentation is about funny looking animals. I call them Miximals because they look like creatures made of different animal parts. I hope this helps you with your work. A platypus. We are now going to see an animal from another amazing island. Actually a continent itself. Australia. Here is the habitat of the quirky egg-laying mammal, the platypus. Orinthodrinchus anatinus make their home in near freshwater creeks and their cute little babies are called puggles. Funny enough, now I see the resemblance with the dog breed, pugs. It looks quite exotic, right? Looking at its cute face, you might think that the platypus will be a great pet to play with. In the water and on land. If I tell you that the platypus is one of the few living animals to produce venom, you might change your mind, right? Oh dear, is that a mouse? It's the mouse dear. The scientific name is Chevrotain. This odd looking mouse prefers habitats of high elevations and the forest regions of Java, that's in Indonesia, to eat a wide variety of plants and animal matter depending on what is available, including insects. I know these are mice, however, look at the body parts. It looks like a combination of a mouth and deer with pretty legs. Such a lovely combination, it only teaches us that diversity is wonderful. The Kaluga, or Dernoptera, looks to me as a breed between a rat, a mouse, and a lemur. This lovely creature lives in the rainforests on coconut and banana tree, where they consume the leaves. Just like flying squirrels do, the Kaluga can't actually fly, but they glide from tree to tree. In these pictures, you may say that the Kaluga is very much like a bat. However, their closest relatives are the primates, the lemurs. A trip to Asia, especially in the Philippines, will give you a chance to observe these little mammals in their natural habitat. Just like other rainforests, the Kalugas are endangered by deforestation. So someone, including us children, may have to fix them. The Nahal. In this presentation we observed animals that to a child born and raised in Europe would seem at least odd looking. Animals that look like are made of spare parts of other common animals, even animals bred through plants. However, now it is time to see what can result from a combination of a mammal with a mythical creature. The narwhal looks like a whale with a unicorn horn, right? The narwhals spend their lives in Arctic waters of Canada, where they eat cod, shrimp and squid. Look at the top picture and you may say that under every dangerous looking narwhal horn is a lovely smile. It is known that now we use the horn to agitate the waters to confuse and easier capture the fish. However, that's not the only purpose of the horn. Male owls have a slime competition displaying their horn to attract mates. The Lona Street Tenric. The Lona Street Tenric is known by scientists as Hemicentetes semispinosus. The semispinosus name comes from keratin hairs, just like a hedgehog spines. You can find this cute creature in Madagascar having a big feast on earthworms. I know they are adorable, however don't try to capture them as pets as they can't survive too long in captivity. Now this is what I call a hedgehog mouse that wakes up with bed hair and decides to put a bee dressing up caution for the day. Adorable! The pig-nosed turtle. Caratokia sculpta is a turtle with a peculiar nose, very much resembling of a pig's snout. Therefore, the animal is 
known as the pig-nosed turtle. This animal lives in northern Australia, Iran, Jaya and southern New Guinea and they eat almost anything, but they prefer eating plants. They are such cute little fellows, actually not that little. They can weigh up to 50 pounds. If you consider having a pig-nosed turtle as a pet, Yes, that's possible and you can keep it up to 40 years. However, consider getting this turtle only if you can afford a big tank or a swimming pool for it to live in. As this turtle does need a big aquarium with lots of plants to hide and constant water temperature. Still interested? The Flying Fox Pterapus is a type of mega bat. Unlike normal bats, these lion foxes don't use their eyes to locate their prey, just the eyes and ears, like any other foxes. Flying foxes like to live in rainforests and orchards and eat pollen, fruit, and nectar. They Before you fall in love with these cute faces, let me tell you that the flying foxes are also known as Pterapus vampires. No, no, it doesn't suck blood. I told you it is a vegetarian. These species are one of the largest bats in the world. The average wingspan is 1.5 meters and they weigh just a little over 1 kg. The peacock spider. Like many other girls, my cousin doesn't really enjoy spiders, but she's in love with peacocks. Maratus Volant has it all, as creepy as a spider, but as majestic and colourful as a peacock. If, however, you still don't like spiders, you might want to skip this slide as I'm about to tell you something even more gruesome about this little fellow. He eats anything small enough. Anything. Oh, and as well, you can leap up to 40 times their body length. However, you hold nothing against spiders. No arachnophobia. This might be the cutest little guy you've ever met. Always dressed up for a carnival and ready to impress its mate. And those eyes, aww. I would like to end this presentation with a little activity. Print the next slide or any animal silhouette and cut them into half or three parts. Mix and match the parts to create new animals. Don't go crazy. Give them names and share in the comments. Thank you guys for taking part in this amazing journey around the globe to discover animals that look like being made of other animals' spare parts. Of course it is from the point of view of a person born in the temperate continental country. If any of the presented animals are common to your part of the world, tell us more about them. We're eager to learn more.